Music has been a part of the university throughout its 600 year history. The first students at the university included choristers who sang services in the university's chapel. The intensity of music making was such that the existing buildings which were not intended for music were not any longer appropriate. We approach the design of the building from the inside out. Specifically when you're designing for musical spaces, you have to start from the point of view of the performer and the audience and then design the room as much as anything about the way it's going to sound for them as how it's going to look. The site is located at the oldest part of the 600 plus year university and effectively an arboretum has grown up around the site and there are absolutely gorgeous specimen trees. And it was those and the surrounding buildings that gave us the idea of creating a footprint for the building that could respond to the historic infrastructure around it and create a new quad. And one of the joys of working here is that throughout the day and throughout the week, different combinations of people, students, townsfolk, young children, come in and enjoy using the different spaces in the building. Even though it looks beautiful, from the outside, it's what it feels like to make music in here that is really important. The first time I heard an O synth uh, in the McPherson, it was extraordinary. It made the hair stand up on the back of my neck. You know, it brings a lump to the throat. So it's a really emotional response when you get to see and hear the space do exactly what you've been imagining for the previous four years.